like minute gone by. Seems like a long time when you're waiting for something to happen, doesn't it? Funny thing is, time can pass very slowly or very fast. Or sometimes even both at once. The time now? Oh, a little after four. But what that means should depend on you. Too often we do something simply because time tells us to. Time for school. Time for bed. Whoops, 12 o'clock. Time to be hungry. It can get a little silly, don't you think? But time is important, but it's what you do with it makes it so. So my advice to you is to use it. Keep your eyes open and your ears perked. Otherwise, it'll pass before you know it. And you certainly have missed something. Things have a habit of doing that, you know? Being there one minute and gone the next. In a twinkling of an eye. In a jiffy. In a flash. I know a girl who yawned and missed a whole summer vacation. And what about the caveman who took a nap one afternoon and woke up to find himself completely alone? You see, while he was sleeping, someone had invented the wheel and everyone had moved to the suburbs. And then, of course, there's Milo. <sighs> For Milo, who has plenty of time. Well, that's true. No. Well. One genuine turnpike toll booth easily assembled at home for use by those who have never traveled in lands beyond. Beyond what? This package contains the following items. One genuine turnpike toll booth to be erected according to directions. Three precautionary signs to be used in a precautionary fashion. Assorted coins for paying tolls. One map, strictly up to date, showing how to get from here to there. One book of rules and traffic regulations which may not be bent or broken. Warning, results are not guaranteed. If not perfectly satisfied, your wasted time will be refunded. Come off it! Who do you think you're kidding? What am I supposed to do with this? Well, what else do I have to do? Have your destination in mind. Now, let's see. That's funny. I've never heard of any of these places. Dictionopolis. That's her name. Might as well go there. See what I mean? You never know how things are going to get started. But when you're bored, what you need more than anything is, is a rude awakening. This is weird. I don't recognize any of the scenery at all. Welcome to expectations. Predictions, information, and advice cheerfully offered. Park here and blow horn. <laughs> my, 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 my. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the land of expectations, expectations, expectations. We don't get many travelers these days. We certainly don't get many travelers. Now what can I do for you? I'm the weatherman. Is this the right road to Dictionopolis? Well now, well now, well now, I don't know of any wrong road to Dictionopolis. So if this road does go to Dictionopolis, it must be the right road. But if it doesn't, it must be the right road to somewhere else. Because there are no wrong roads to anywhere. Do you think the rain? I thought you were the weatherman. Oh no, I'm the weatherman. W-H-E-T-H-E-R, not the weatherman. After all, it is more important to know whether there'll be weather than what the weather will be. What kind of place is expectations? Good question, good question. Expectations is the place you must always go to before you get to where you are going. However, many people never go beyond expectations. So my job is to hurry them along whether they like it or not. Now what else can I do for you? I think I can find my own way. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Whether or not you find your own way, you're bound to find some way. If you find my way, please return it. I lost it years ago. I imagine by now it must be quite rusty. You didn't say it was going to rain, didn't you? I'm glad you made up your own mind. I do hate to make up my own mind about anything, whether it's up or down, good or bad, rain or shine. Expect everything, I always say, and the unexpected never happens. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Oh, dear! I better get out of expectations. Well, fast. Talk to a girl that day will get me nowhere for sure. Oh, oh, now what? Now I really am getting nowhere. I hope I didn't take a wrong turn. I wonder where I am. You're in the doldrums. Yes, the doldrums. What are the doldrums? The doldrum, my friend, is where nothing ever happens and nothing ever changes. Let me introduce ourselves. We are the Lathargarians at your service. Very pleased to meet you. I think I'm lost. Can you help me? Don't mm, say think. 
It's against the law. No one's allowed to think in the doldrums. Don't you have a rule book? It's local ordinance, 175389-J. Ordinance 175389-J. Mm. It shall be unlawful, unethical, illegal to think. Think of thinking, surmise, presume, meditate, or speculate while in the doldrums. No more breaking this law to be severely punished. That's a ridiculous law. Everybody thinks. We don't. And most of the time, he don't. That is why you're here. You weren't thinking or paying attention either. People who don't pay attention often get stuck in the doldrums. Face it, most of the time you're just like us. <laughs> Stop that at once. <laughs> Laughing. Oh, he's against the law. Don't you have a rule book? It's local ordinance 574381-W. In the doldrums, laughter is frowned upon, and spying is permitted only on alternate Thursdays. Well, if you can't laugh or think, what can you do? Anything as long as it's nothing, and everything as long as it isn't anything. There's lots to do. We have a very busy schedule. At 8, we get up and spend from 8 to 9 daydreaming. From 9 to 9.30, we take our early mid-morning nap. <laughs> From 9.30 to 10.30, we dawdle and delay. From 10.30 to 11.30, we take our late, early morning nap. From 11.30 to 12, we bide our time and then meet our lunch. From 1 to 2, we linger and loiter. From 2 to 2.30, we take our early afternoon nap. From 2.30 to 3.30, we put off for tomorrow what we could have done today. <laughs> From 3.30 to 4, we take our early, late afternoon nap. From 4 to 5, we loaf and lounge until dinner. From 6 to 7, we dilly-dally. From 7 to 8, we take our early evening nap, and then, from an hour before we go to bed, we waste time. You see, it's really quite strenuous doing nothing all day long. So once a week, we take a holiday and go nowhere. Which is just where we were going until you came along. Would you care to join us? That story seemed to be going anyway. Tell me, does everyone here do nothing? Everyone except for a terrible watchdog. He's always sniffing around, make sure nobody wastes time. A most unpleasant character. The watchdog? The watchdog! The watchdog! Run, 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 what are you doing here? Nothing much, just killing time. Killing time? It's not enough wasting time without killing it. Don't you have anywhere to go? I think I was on my way to Dictionopolis when I got stuck here. Can you help me? Help you? You gotta help yourself. I suppose you know why you got stuck here? I guess I just wasn't thinking. Precisely. Now you're underway. I am? Of course. Since you got here by not thinking, it seems reasonable that in order to get out, you must start thinking. Do you mind if I get in? I love rides. Well? All right, I'll try. Are we moving yet? Not yet. Think a little harder. I'm thinking as hard as I can. You can think a little harder than that. Come on, you can do it. All right, all right, I'm thinking. Of all the planets in the solar system, why water expands when it turns on ice. And all the words that begin with QN, we're moving, we're moving. Keep thinking. Of how a steam engine works, how to bake a pie, and the difference between centigrade and Fahrenheit. Dictionopolis, here we come. Here we go, watchdog. You can let me talk. And keep your eyes on the road. What kind of place is Dictionopolis? It's a place where all the words in the world are made. Used to be a marvelous place until Rhyme and Reason left. Rhyme and Reason? The two princesses. They used to sell all the arguments between the two rulers of the land of wisdom. You see, Azaz is the king of Dictionopolis, and the mathematician is the queen of Digitopolis. And they almost never see eye to eye on anything. It was the jobs of the princesses Sweet Rhyme and Pure Reason to solve the differences between the two monarchs. And both sides just went home feeling very satisfied. Until one day, the two monarchs had an argument to end all arguments. <laughs> Of course, I'll abide by the decision of rhyme and reason. Oh, I have no doubt as to what it will be. They will choose words, of course. Everyone knows words are more important than numbers any day of the week. Oh, that's what you think is us. People wouldn't even know how to read the day of the week if it wasn't for numbers. And haven't you ever looked at a calendar? Face it as us, it's numbers that they count. Don't be ridiculous. Let's hear it for words. Oh. <laughs> Let's hear it for numbers! Numbers! A, B, C! One, two, three! A, B, C! One, two, three! Quiet, you! Rhyme and reason are about to announce their decision. 
Ladies and gentlemen, letters and numerals, fractions and punctuation marks, may we have your attention, please? After careful consideration of the problem set before us by King Azaz of Dictionopolis and the mathematician of Digitopolis, we have come to the following conclusion. Words and numbers are of equal value, for in the cloak of knowledge, one is the warp and the other is the woof. It is no more important to count the sands than it is to name the stars. Therefore, Therefore let, let both kingdoms, kingdoms Dictionopolis and Digitopolis, live in peace. Yeah! Who oh, is what I say, foo but Yes. Oh, what could are these girls if they can't even settle an argument for anybody's favor? Hmm. I think I've made a decision on my own. So have I. You, you are, are hereby banished from, from this land to the, the castle of the air. air. And as for you, keep out of my way. way. Never since then, there's been neither rhyme nor reason in this land. Words are misused and numbers mismanaged. The argument between the two is to buy the entire land and the value of both words and numbers has been forgotten. What a waste. Why doesn't someone go to the castle in the air and rescue the two princesses? That is easier said than done. You see, the castle in the air is very far from here, and the one path linked to it is guarded by ferocious demons. But hold on, here we are. Ahem. This is Dictionopolis, a happy kingdom, advantageously located in the foothills of confusion and caressed by gentle breezes from the sea of knowledge. Today, by royal proclamation, is market day. Have you come to buy or sell? I beg your pardon? Buy or sell, buy or sell. Which is it? You must have come here for a reason. Well, I... Come now. If you don't have a reason, you must at least have an explanation or certainly an excuse. Uh, no. Very serious. You can't get in without a reason. Wait a minute. Maybe I have an old one you can use. No. No. This won't do. Hmm. What's she looking for? Ah, this is fine. Why not? That's a good reason for almost anything. A bit used, perhaps, but still quite serviceable. There you are, sir. Now I can surely say, welcome to Dictionopolis. Talk, look! Hey, 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 step right up and take your pick. Juicy, tempting words for sale. Get your fresh pick if and and but. Just take a look at these nice, ripe words and ones. Step right up, step right up, and some best quality words here for sale. Enrichable vocabulary for words such as quagmire, flabbergast, or upholstery. Words by the bag, buy them only here. Words by the bag for the most talkative customer. How about a pound of happies? Useful for it. happy birthday, happy new year, happy days, and happy go lucky. Oh, how about a package of goods? Useful for good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and goodbye. I can't believe it. Have you ever seen so many words? They're good if you have something to say. Excuse me, what are these? These are for people who like to make up their own words. You can pick any assortment you like or buy a special box complete with all letters in a book of instructions. Here, taste an A. They're very good. It's sweet. I knew you'd like it. A is one of our best sellers. All of them aren't that good, you know. The Z, for instance, very dry and sawdusty. And the X tastes like a trunk full of stale air. But most of the O's aren't bad at all. Here, try the I. Cool. It's icy. How about a C for you? It's as crunchy as a bone. Most people are just too lazy to make their own words. But take it from me. Not only is it more fun, but it's also delightful, elating, and extremely useful. Isn't it difficult? I'm not very good at making words. Some assistance. A-S-S-I-S-T-A-N-C-E. Don't be alarmed. A-L-A-R-M-E-D. I am the spelling bee. I can spell anything. A-N-Y-T-H-I-N-G. Try me. Try me. Can you spell goodbye? Perhaps you're under the misapprehension, M-I-S-C-P-P-R-E-H-N-S-I-O-N, that I am dangerous. Let me assure you that I am quite peaceful. Now, think of the most difficult word you can, and I'll spell it. Uh, okay. How about curiosity? Let's see now. Uh, how much time do I have? Just 10 seconds. Count them off, talk. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, Oh, dear, 6, oh, dear. 1, 000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 
Nine one thousand. Zero such a Y. Correct. Yay! Did you spill anything? Just about. You see, years ago, I was an ordinary bee, minded my own business, wanting the flowers all day, occasionally picking up part-time work on people's bonnets. Then one day, I realized that I never amount to anything I'm not without an education. So I decided that. Bonnetash! Let me repeat, bonnetash! Well, well, what do we have going on here? Isn't anyone going to introduce me to the little boy? This is the humbug. You can't trust what he says. Nonsense! Everyone can trust the word of a humbug. Why, as I was saying to the king just You've the other day... You've never met the king. Don't believe a thing he tells you. Bosh, my boy, pure bosh. Why, the humbugs are an old and noble family, honorable to the core. Why? We fought in the Crusades with Richard the Lionhearted. We, we crossed the Atlantic with Columbus. We blazed trails with the pioneers. History is full of humbugs. A very pretty speech, S-P-E-E-C-H. Now, why don't you go away? I was just advising the lad of the importance of proper spelling. Bah! You learn to spell one word, and then they ask you to spell another. You simply can't keep up. Take my advice, boy, and forget all about it. Why, as my great-great-great-grandfather George Washington Humbug used to say... You, sir, are an imposter. I-M-P-O-S-T-E-R, who can't even spell his own name. You dare doubt my word? The word of a humbug? The word of a humbug who has direct access to the ear of the king? And the king shall hear of this, I promise you! Did someone call for the king? Did you mention the monarch? Speak of the sovereign? They treat them for... Hail His Highness. Who are they? The king's advisors on more formal terms. His cabinet, C-A-B-I-N-E-T. Greetings. Salutations. Welcome. Good afternoon. Hello. Uh, hi. By the orders of his ass, honor bridge. King of Dictionopolis. Monarch of letters. And for phrases, senses, mislays, figures of speech. We offer you the hospitality of our kingdom. Country. Nation. State. Commonwealth. Realm. Empire. Palatinate. Principality. Do all those words mean the same thing? Of course. Certainly. Precisely. Exactly. Yes. Then why not just use one? Wouldn't that make a lot more sense? Nonsense. Ridiculous. Fantastic. Absurd. Bosh. We're not interested in making sense. It's not our job. Besides, if one word is as good as another, then why not use them all? Then you don't have to choose if one is right. Besides, if one is right, then ten or ten times is right. Obviously, you don't know who we are. Duchess of Definition. Minister of Meaning. The Earl of Essence. Countess of Connotation. Under Secretary of Understanding. And, and we have come to invite you to the Royal Banquet. The Banquet? That's quite an honor. My boy, a real H-O-N-O-R. Nonsense. Everyone goes to the banquet these days. It's true. Everybody does go. But some people are invited, and others simply push their way into where they aren't wanted. How dare you? You bushing little upstart. I'll show you who's not wanted. You just watch it. I'm warning. W-A-R-N-I-N-G-U. <laughs> King Azaz, the Anna Bridge, is about to begin the royal banquet. All guests who do not appear promptly at the table will automatically lose their place. Come here, I sit next to you. Places, everyone, take your places. And just who is this? Your Majesty, my name is Milo, and this is Tom. Thank you very much for inviting us to your banquet. And I think your palace is beautiful. Exquisite. Lovely. Handsome. Pretty. Charming. That it! Now, tell me, young man, what can you do to entertain us? Sing songs? Tell stories? Oh, juggle plates? Do tumbling tricks? I can't do any of those things. Ah, what's an ordinary little boy? Can't you do anything at all? Well, I can count to a thousand. Ah! Numbers! Never mention numbers here. Only use them when we absolutely have to. Now, why don't we change the subject and have some dinner? Since you are the guest of honor, you may pick the menu. E, well, uh, I'm not very hungry. Can we just have a light snack? A light snack it shall be! Step away. Hmm. It's not a very substantial meal. Maybe you could suggest something a little more filling. Well, in that case, I think we ought to have a square meal. A square meal it is! These are awful. Time for speeches. You first. 
Your Majesty, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take this opportunity. That's quite enough. Fuss and talk all day. But I just started to. Next. No stucky mashed potatoes, vanilla ice cream. Hamburgers, corn on cob, chocolate pudding, beauty, diddy, ing. Spaghetti, garlic bread, <laughs> hot fudge sundae. Grilled cheese sandwich, french fries, donuts and sprinkles. Chicken pot pie, cornbread, strawberry shortcake. Frankfurters, pickles, apple pie. Pizza, breadsticks, peach cobbler. Pork chop, papa sauce, cheesecake. Thanks, and water salad, banana split. Candy apple. Pat in the fogra, soup and onion, salad on the way, fromage and fruit at Damitas. I can't say I think very much of your choice. I didn't know I was going to have to eat my words. Of course, of course, everybody here does. Your speech would have been in better taste. Here, try some somersault. It improves the flavor. Have a rigmarole. Or a ragamuffin. Perhaps you care for a cinnamon bun. Why not wait for a just dessert? Ah, oh, yes, the dessert. We're having a special treat today, freshly made at the Half Bakery. The Half Bakery? Of course, a Half Bakery. Where do you think half baked ideas come from? Now, please don't interrupt. Fire Royal Command, all pastry stuff. What's a half baked idea? Well, they're very tasty, but they don't always agree with you. Oh, here's a good one. The Earth is flat. People smell at that one.